Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. Long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're returning to the topic of the Psalms and their meaning. Now, a brief disclaimer before getting into this psalm. The Psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy, and to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the Psalm has in the douay Rheims Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will list psalm numbers as they are given in the douay Rheims Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Anyway, this is Psalm 42 in the douay Rheims Bible, but Psalm 43 in the RSV. A Psalm for David Judge me, O God, and distinguish my cause from the nation that is not holy. Deliver me from the unjust and deceitful man. With David, we ask that God will differentiate between our goals and the goals of liars, cheaters, and other evil people, in the hope that our lot will end up being better than it otherwise would be. For thou art God, my strength. Why hast thou cast me off? And why do I go sorrowful whilst the enemy afflicteth me? We ask why God allows us to suffer so much when we depend on him for everything, while horrible people often succeed in their efforts to cause or increase our suffering. Send forth thy light and thy truth. They have conducted me and brought me unto thy holy hill and into thy tabernacles. Let God's perfect truthfulness and guidance lead us where we need to go to worship him and accomplish his will. And I will go in to the altar of God, to God who giveth joy to my youth. God provides all the joy and energy we have, so it's only right that we should thank him for it. To thee, O God, my God, I will give praise upon the harp. Why art thou sad, O my soul, and why dost thou disquiet me? We should be happier because we can do what's right by following God's will and praising him justly. Also, more centrally, because hope in God. For I will still give praise to him, the salvation of my countenance and my God. We place our hopes in the one who is most capable of fulfilling them, and least capable of betraying anyone. God's transcendent reliability is the sturdiest of places to put our trust, because he can never be removed or defeated, and he can never let us down. If God could do any of these things, he wouldn't be perfect, and therefore wouldn't be God. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.